That kind of sucks. Oh my god, he's too adorable. I can't do it. Oh my f***ing god. All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, little quick side note before I continue. Uh, my brother's yelling in the background, so you might you might just hear him so but welcome back to the channel today is the i'm trying to be a little more quieter today today is the owl house episode four of season one the intruder reaction now quick little uh side notes as well uh as the other one uh currently uh yesterday uh, at the time of me recording this, what you're seeing right now, I have watched up to date on the Owl House. Now, don't be alarmed, I have already recorded my reactions to each and every single episode, so don't be alarmed, those reactions will be coming out. However, I wanted to do this uh, and basically watch the whole show before I actually repo- little before I actually posted a lot of reactions because I just wanted to be up to date in its entirety in preparation for the final episode that will be coming out on the 8th. I just wanted to clear that up because uh, the comments on my comment section, uh, some people are not aware that I have uh, seen a lot of the Owl House when those uh, previous reactions were posted. But just to clear things up, yes, I have seen the Owl House in its entirety, but all the reactions that you will see Basically, this one included was almost a month ago, uh, this one that you're about to see. This was like a month ago me, <laughs> before now. So, however, because I watched the entirety of the Owl House and now you're seeing me all caught up with it, I don't know what to watch now. The three main uh, shows that I'm going to be getting into as soon as Owl House is finished will be Gravity Falls, Amphibia, and Avatar. These three shows I have not seen and so i am very very excited to get started on those shows as soon as owl house gets finished if you guys have any other recommendations please leave them down below but without wasting any more of you guys' time here is the season one episode four the intruder reaction i hope you guys enjoy this video please do leave a like if you enjoy it or find yourself coming back on the regular and please do subscribe it would really help out a lot but enjoy today's video and i will see you guys soon okay our house season one episode four the intruder the king of demons placing his natural enemy the ducky sock oh. Where are you now, Ducky Sock? <sighs> Prepare yourself for Demons 101! Oh, learning about demons. Nice. And cute little paws. <sighs> and cute little paws. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-oh, looks like it's gonna rain. <gasps> I love the rain. I bet you do too, little buddy. What? What? Oh, it's acid. Oh, they have acid rain. That kind of sucks. Do they never experience normal rain? This fucking intro's a vibe. Yeah, so everyone just has to experience this. Look, now we're boo boo buddies. <laughs> oh, oh the gosh, squeal. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm on the same page. Oh, that's sick. Magical, sassy, surprisingly foxy for her age. Hey, why did they call you the owl lady anyway? Because I'm so wise. Oh, that force field really took it out of me. Uh oh, moving a little slow. Age finally catching up to you. Ah, darkness! <laughs> but don't you want to finish our lesson? Sorry, King, but magic. Dude, listen to him. He's the lesson's gonna bite you in the ass if you don't fucking learn it. Whatever it is, no. <laughs> uh. Oh. Nope. Uh. <laughs> but before one is earned, every witch needs to know how to cast spells on their own. Now. So basically just Doctor Strange. Light. Light. Okay, simple enough. Who needs another boring spell lesson when you could be learning all the fun ways a demon could kill you? Bite, That's bite. important to know. I need to focus. 
Now, humans think magic is made out of thin air, but that's stupid. It comes from a sack of magic bile attached to a witch's heart. The bigger the circle, the more powerful the spell. How can I, well, old loose, do magic if I don't have a magic bile sack? You know, I'm not actually sure. What? I know witches. My obsession with spells knocked out Ida. I'm a monster. Bap. Yep, she's out. Bap. <laughs> Just making sure. We should get help, right? Boiling rains, remember? No, let her try. It'll be funny. But what if Ida's dead? Should I bap her again? Let her rest, you little goober. Come on. Oh, let's God damn days. it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit. Yeah, you really do gotta ease up on Ida. Like, honestly, she is, like, not young as she used to be. Like, you really do gotta ease up, man. You are going way too fucking hard at this shit. Not, not now, King. I want to figure out this spell. But if I don't have a magic sack... Oh, sad King. Every day I notice Ida sneaking drinks of this special elixir. See? Then she always gets a boost of energy. See? I think that's where she gets hmm. her powers. And I know where to get some. Thank you so much. You're a prince. King. I'm King. Right. Okay, so his name is King, and then she just called him Prince, and then he corrected her and said, I'm a king. So he was a king? A king of what? Is he like a banished king? Now, where could it be? Dude, snooping in there is not a good idea. I can't believe I'm about to learn magic. Real magic. This is historic. And you're gonna drop it. <laughs> yep. Who would have fucking thought? Oh my. Oh my gosh, the snaggleback! It feeds during oh, the rain. Of course it's that. Our... You wanna go toward those creepy sounds? No way! What if Ida gets eaten? She's upstairs and defenseless because you knocked her out! Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good fucking point. And she's not there. Yeah. I'll go get my demon book. Right, here we go. Get the lessons. Oh shit. The snaggleback got her. Oh, it's up to King. Give me back my boo boo buddy. <laughs> oh my god, he's too adorable. I can't do it. There's nowhere for you to run. Snaggleback. I I, I didn't do any of that stuff. I snuck in through a window just now. Huh? Well then, what? Oh no! A twist! Oh, well that's- hello, Resident Evil Village. Oh my gosh. That is- Holy crap, how big are you? That's what she said! <laughs> oh, lose. Yep. An elixir a day keeps the curse at bay! Curse? Wait, what are you trying to say? I was wrong the whole time. That's no Snaggleback. That creature is- That's Ida! Oh my fucking yeah. god! Holy shit. Okay, I didn't see that coming. She's fucking menacing! Holy shit, that's terrifying. Oh my god! I'm so sorry, Luce. I, I just wanted you to be into demons like you're into magic. I don't have many friends and no one even pays that much attention to me. Ida's turned into some kind of demon and we need to save her. So who knows more about demons than the best teacher in the world? <laughs> oh my god, he's fuck, dude. Luce, use your human wonder rectangle. I can't. <laughs> your human wonder rectangle. What about that light? Oh my god, he's adorable. There. Oh, so she can just create it by drawing its, like, symbol. It's beautiful. Okay, that oh works, I guess. We're not gonna stop anything with something that small. Oh yeah, the size. What do we do now? Size matters. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ida, but it's for your own good. Oh, here we go. Whoa! That's a lot of light. King, 
King, you stole my elixir. I ought to break every bone in your... Shh. Over there. <laughs> She's getting the hang of it. Wow. How is she doing that? I don't know, but she did it all on her own. When I was younger, uh, I was cursed. I don't know exactly how it happened. All I know is that if I don't take my elixir, well, that's why people call me the Owl Lady. We're definitely going to get a backstory about that curse for sure. I have a feeling about that. No, not this memory again. You! You're the one who cursed me, aren't you? Yep. Who are you? Who are you? <gasps> okay, so we are going to get a backstory. Okay. I'm one of the strongest demons on the Boiling Isles, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit that. Oh. oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's the end. Okay. It's a great episode. That was a great episode. Um, So we got a little more development from King and from Ida. That was nice. We're definitely gonna get a backstory about that curse that Ida has. I'm looking forward to that because it's very interesting. I did not see that twist coming with this episode that she was actually the creature that was tormenting them in the house. I figured the monster just jumped in, grabbed Ida, and then grabbed Luz, and then it was all up to King. But no, Ida was actually the monster. And then we got Luz doing magic for the first time. It wasn't the way that everyone else does it, but I think that's the point because she's human. Plus, she's also our main protagonist, so I guess doing magic a little differently would actually suit the story a little better. Other than that, King is very interesting in the sense that he's not entirely like everyone else. He's very unique. 